I'm Amy Devers. Welcome to Urban Eco. Urban Eco is all about exploring fun and creative ways of living healthier, more sustainable lives. Or drunker and happier lives. <laughs> Today we're cozying up for the holidays with a glass of fresh, hot, mulled wine. I'll show you how to make this toasty winter beverage. And I'll also show you how to give it as well as part of a fun, recycled holiday gift set. Mold wine is easy to make and it's the perfect thing to bring to all those holiday parties, including the office party so you can get your boss drunk and get yourself a raise. Mold wine has been a winter staple in German-speaking countries for hundreds of years. There it's called Glühwein, or something like that. That sounds uber German. It's the traditional beverage of choice during the holidays. Mold wine is most often made from red wine that's heated with spices. All right then, let's make some mold wine. Now you can use white wine for this but I prefer the traditional mulled wine made with a dry red, so that's what we're gonna be using today. Since we're making extra mulling spices to give away as gifts, I'm gonna increase the recipe and make more than just one batch, and all the ingredients and supplies should be available at your local health food store. Okay, so here's what you'll need. Six cinnamon sticks, two tablespoons cardamom pods, three tablespoons dried lemon peel, three tablespoons dried orange peel, three tablespoons whole cloves, three tablespoons chopped crystallized ginger, yum, two tablespoons whole allspice, and this is optional. You can also use one tablespoon black peppercorn. Then you'll also need six cooking sachets and enough sugar to taste. All right, put your cardamom pods and your cinnamon sticks in a plastic bag and then crush them up using a rolling pin, the bottom of a heavy saucepan, or even a cast iron skillet. Once they're good and kind of quasi-pulverized, you're gonna to wanna to add the rest of the ingredients and then divide them into six equal portions. Then you're gonna to wanna to shovel everything into a cooking sachet. The rest is easy. Just pour the bottle of wine into the pot, then add a spice sachet and enough sugar to taste. Now, I prefer to get most of my sugar under the mistletoe, so I go a little easy on it with the mulled wine, but it's typically gonna be about one-third to two-thirds of a cup. Then bring it to a simmer, and this is important, do not bring it to a boil. If you boil this, you will lose all the alcohol and that will be a tragedy. Just simmer it for 20 minutes and then it'll be ready to serve. So I'm making this huge batch of mulled wine and if I drink it all by myself, it'll be bad news. So I bribed some good friends to come over and help me with this craft project. Elaine Holton and Paul Swallow. Hi, Amy. <laughs> so you have two jobs here, crafting and drinking. Okay. Take job number two. <laughs> and job number one's easy though and fun. We're gonna decorate these mason jars, okay. which will be mulled wine glasses, mm -hmm. with decorated bottle caps, right. twine and tags, and a spice sachet. We got like paint, paint pens, brushes, got you some snacks so you don't get too drunk. Snacks. Mm -hmm. I want you just the right amount of drunk so you can really, you know, express There's yourself. There's no such thing as a right amount of drunk. Yes, there is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, and by the way, cheers, you guys. Thank oh, you for cheers. coming over. Oh, oh cheers. <laughs> That's good. Oh, that's, some gold. that's my masterpiece. I love it. <gasps> this is like a yeah. big poinsettia. Poinsettia. This would be a great project for like mom and her kids. So here's the idea. Very nice. It's like festive. And I'll tell you what, Whoa. that smell. Talk about festive. Yeah, I've been <laughs> smelling it for a while. This is like yeah, amazing. It's like the holidays. If you could just condense it and bottle it, that's what it would smell like. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Urban Eco, and we wish you a very warm and happy holiday season. Cheers. Thank you, Amy. Thank you. Thank you.